to the man. I've never heard the man speak. I, uh, he is the official, as of today, I think, Democrat nominee for the Senate in South Carolina. Alvin Green, how are you, sir? Good evening. Listen, why, why are people running around saying you're a Republican plant? Are you a Republican plant? No. But, 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 I mean, but why are they saying that you are? Is it because you beat the establishment, or what, what's that all about? I've always been a Democrat, I've always been a Democrat, and I want to focus on the issues, my job, my um, number one issue is jobs, number two, education, and lastly, number three, justice. Those are the three issues I'm focusing on, and, and... Do you, yeah. do you know Do you know who James Clyburn is? Yes. Have you ever talked to James Clyburn? No, I haven't. Why is I've, he running I've around? I've met him what? before, but yeah. I haven't talked to him about anything about what's what's going on now. Well, why Why is he saying that uh, that you're part of a Republican hoax or setup? Or I mean, why wouldn't he pick up the phone and ask you directly? I have nothing to say about that. I just want to say that I'm, you know, that I'm focusing on the issues of getting South Carolina and America back to work. And, you know, I'm the best candidate for United States Senate in South Carolina. The best well, let me ask you this. How, how would you, how would you get America back to work? Yes, I'm... You know, I'm How would you do it? The issues in getting America back to work. All right, lower your radio because I think that's causing some confusion, or whatever the TV is. Or can you lower that for me, lower. sir? Okay, just a moment. Uh oh. Maybe I should say. All right. All right, that's better. Let me. So, so what? What is the plan for creating jobs? What? What? What would you do? Would you cut taxes? Would you cut bureaucracy? Would you would you take the, the the government's boot off the throat of the private sector so it could expand? Well, we have to get our priorities in order. You know, we spend two times more of our tax dollars on inmates than students, and you know we. Yes, we, but 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 I don't yeah. want dangerous people in the classroom. I want them in prison. Hmm. You agree with me on that one? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, but yeah. Um, I agree about that. But it's not about that. It's about what about the non-violent first-time offenders, things like that. That are or, may, or maybe we could just put bars on the windows of the classroom and call them prison. I mean, I uh, there are different ideas out there. Yes. Okay. I think non-violent, non-violent first offenders. I don't think all of them should go to jail. Actually. Yes, but. But but our prisons are full of an awful lot of violent people. Let, let me let me ask you this. I've got to ask you this because people are going to wonder. Okay, sir, I'm not trying to be rude. What is this? What is this stuff with this woman and the and the computer and and then the and the law enforcement's looking at it? Are you able to speak to me about that? My lawyer's handling that. Your lawyer's handling that. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me about your Army career? Did you have to leave the Army? Did they throw you out? You just retired? What happened there? Okay, I mean... Are you allowed to talk about that? Okay, I mean, I left... It was Am honorable I allowed? discharge. Yeah. It was, it was honorable? Yes, honorable, but involuntary. And it was just, uh, just some issues. That's a long story. It's kind of like... I ran into some things like... It's kind of like the Air Force service something like that so that's well you know you, you have to you have to assume these things are going to come up because you're now a public figure right yes i believe they'll eventually come out and we'll find out more. what 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 made you decide <laughs> excuse me what what made you decide to run for the senate to make a positive difference you know where did you get where did you get the money to to put up your name? I understand it's not that cheap. I saved it um I saved my in the army. Yeah. So you knew you wanted to run for the Senate for some time. 
Yes, for a little while. But why? Why are the Democrats? You've got a guy. I don't. I don't even know his name. Who you beat? Who, who's trying to 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 use whatever rules he can use to to stop you from running? I mean, I I just want to be honest with you. Which is this? Obviously, you're not the strongest candidate in the world. You're not the strongest candidate I've ever spoken to. Obviously. Uh, I think the Democrats don't have any trust that you're going to win, so what they're trying to do is knock you off in advance of the election. Am I right? No. But some background about myself. I mean, I'm, I was born in Florence, South Carolina. I grew up in Manning, South Carolina, where I live now. I graduated from the University of South Carolina. Uh, you know, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Um, so you graduated from uh, South Carolina? Yes. What was your major? Political science. So you're a pretty smart guy, right? Yes. So, so, but, I mean, but, do you get nervous behind the microphone? Do you get nervous when you're, when you're being interviewed by the media? You're just not experienced about it? Well, this is my f- first time running for elected office. And yeah. Yeah. I am... Um, all right. I'm 32 years old. Yeah. I have 13 years of service, military service. Um, now, what did you do in the service? Okay. Uh, I mean, get yeah, 13 years. That's almost my entire adult life. I was in the Air Force. I was intelligence, and the Army. I was supply. Mm-hmm. And but um. All right. What do you want to tell my audience before I let you go? Anything? Just. You know, let's. You know, I want to tell them that. You know that. First of all, you're not a Republican plan. Is that correct? No, yeah, that's right. I've always been a Democrat. And, and now, how how did you win? I understand you didn't campaign. I, I campaign, but I'm not focusing on campaign, and I'm just stick with, you know, just my the issues that I'm focusing on, yeah. jobs, education, justice, and. You know, want better education for our children, justice in the judicial system. You know, we have to be sure that the punishment fits the crime, and and that and I believe that I am the best candidate for United States Senate. Well, I know, I know yeah. you do, but but let me ask you this: the talking about and justice and all the and all the rest of it, and do you opponent. have? Do, okay. Well, what well, now? I have a question for you. Okay. Do you have? What is, how can I put this without getting you in trouble? I'm asking, my question is, how, how, what is your legal status in terms of, have, have you been charged yet or you don't know if it's just hanging over your head? What's the deal? Okay, my lawyer is handling. You can't even tell me that. That. But it's about. It's about it's, justice, I know. But I, 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 but I'm. I mean, do you think you'll get justice in your case? Well, we should have justice, and and we need all cases. justice. Oh. And like I said, I am the best candidate for the United States Senate. And all right. Well, I know United you States believe that. Race in South Carolina, and we have to stop my opponent oh. and the Republicans from reversing forward progress in South oh. Carolina and the United Who's, States. Who who is your opponent? Incumbent senator. Yeah, you looking at a piece of paper. What's his name? Your opponent. Incumbent senator Dement. Jim Dement. Yeah, Republican incumbent senator Dement. Yes. All right, sir. All right, thank you for your time. All right. All right. Take care. Thank you. All right.